Introspection. Intro what? Introspection. A journey within. Suffering with severe anxiety and depression, I needed to find a way to heal myself without traditional medication or a doctor, as I don't have funds or access to either. This one decision helped me find some interesting people with practices that I never knew could help or existed. This should be interesting. Welcome to the journey. Hi, my name is Sherry Kaplan, S-H-E-R-I-K-A-P-L-A-N. I am known as the revitalizer. I am a vibrational healer. A revitalizer is someone who helps revitalize people and bring them back to life. And I help my clients feel fresher, lighter, cleaner, and freer. I have been doing this work for about two and a half years. I get healing when I give healing because I'm the channel. I not only do healing individually, but I do it in a group setting too. My clients range from seven, eight years old to 75, 80 years old. Everybody needs a little balancing and clearing and feeling better. I share my healing with the world on a weekly basis. Every Monday night, I run a meetup. It's a sound healing meditation and a holistic healing fair. The sound healing really helps me stay balanced. Most of my clients come to me because they got too much going on in their head. Um, a lot of chatter, a lot of monkey mind. They can't quiet their thoughts. They have a lot of anxiety. But it's about the client surrendering on the table. I'm, I'm a healer, but actually the client is the healer. I'm the channel, and the energy comes through me, and I use my skills to help. As long as the client is a willing, ready, and able. As great as the sound healing was, I just wasn't sure how to completely surrender myself and I needed relief now. Fortunately, I did meet Jeff at one of Sherry's healing fairs. His practice seemed to be a better fit. My name is Jeff Atwood, J-E-F-F-A-T-W-O-O-D. For a living, I'm a wandering mystic. I do a Qigong body work, helps people learn about their own situation. I started massage 20 years ago. I have been teaching Qigong for about 10 years. Since I started Tai Chi, I really found a meaning to myself and for myself because I'm really concentrating on what I'm experiencing. When I decided to go to religion, to study religion, it gave me a different practice, a different experience to study. Uh, because I learned that religious imagery and mythology is, in my opinion, describing different physiological processes that happen when you meditate and do qigong and yoga and that kind of stuff, mind-body therapies. So it's given me a, a path, given me a, a purpose and a way to make a living. I was really looking for the deeper philosophy of non-competitive existence, coexistence, and in looking for the truth of my own, it's sort of a recreation of uh, what I believe the old tradition was, because it's a dead tradition, or it was. I say I do Qigong body work because I'm actually working with the Qi in the hands in a way of, it's like this holding the ball sphere. You have a pole in the middle of your hands and these certain points, it's a pericardium eight. It's like holding this ball of energy. And then when I put my hands on the body, say the shoulder and the hip, I'm connecting that ball of energy and the person actually feels how it goes from the shoulder to the hip. And they're like, whoa, what is that? <laughs> Massage doesn't really fit the description for it. Qigong body work is for learning how your body, the person themselves on the table, they get to learn how their body is actually working because I'm directing the energy through your body and you get to feel your body in a very different way and you learn more about yourself because it also brings up a lot of emotional things stored in the body and emotional energy is energy. Qigong is energy practice. So the thought energy, emotional energy, physical energy, they all, in Qigong, you work them all together. Tai Chi is the great pole so that you connect heaven to earth. And on some deep level, Jeff was right. Qigong body work was exactly what my body needed. Learning how my energy moved and the specific points could help with my anxiety and depression changed everything. In the past, I've been told that some of my movements while spinning reminded them of Qigong meditation. After meeting and working with Jeff, I finally understood how and why. 
Drawing from Sherry Sound Healing and taking what I've learned from Jeff helped, but there was one thing that I realized. I would still need someone to help me, and that wasn't my goal. Finally, it came to me. What do I keep going back to? My Boogang. Spinning felt safe, grounding, and a great place to get away. So, I took to Facebook to see if anyone in the flow arts community suffered with anxiety and depression to find out how they deal with it. This is where I met Juan. So my full name is Juan Arellano. It's J-U-A-N-A-R-E-L-L-A-N-O. So what I do for a living can be explained as being flow arts and flow performances through freelance performing. I first learned to dance early on in life through my family and heritage. Later on, I learned about flow arts and it all just molded together because it's another moving exercise and meditation. I first got into flow arts by going to one of these full moon drum circle gatherings on the beach. I saw these fire performers out with a friend and we were stunned and so grasped to learn and ourselves get into flow arts. I've been doing flow arts for three years and through practice we finally started getting into the flow arts. We started professionally spinning fire roughly about a year after we first started learning about flow arts. Early on in life I went through traumatic experiences with my parents that later evolved into the depression and anxiety I have now. But I feel as though it has also refined me to become the person I am now. So flow arts also helps me with my depression or anxiety by letting me tap into that flow state and that concentration that I need to proficiently practice flow arts. That way, if any thoughts or fears come into play while I practice, it can not distract me from practicing efficiently. Thank you. And there it was, flow state. I didn't even know it had a name. This was a combination of all the different meditations that I've been trying all in one. So as we hit the end of this journey, I've learned while there are many avenues and outlets to deal with my anxiety and depression, at the end of it all, going within and listening to the answers I long for will always yield the relief I need. Till next time.